Hi friend, today we are going to discuss about the differences between IS and Castle server. Nowadays, these both servers are very much in use. IS from a longer time and Castle from few years. So we have divided this uh, differences like uh, on based of uh, some rules, features. Okay. So first of all, we 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 define what is IS on the base of role and on the base of feature okay so as is fully fledged web server developed by microsoft and it is having versatile and for various web application often used as a reverse proxy for asp.net core and forwarding request to castro if we talk about its feature so it has means as have comprehensive set of features supports multiple protocols many protocols actually most of the protocols we can say like uh, ftp smtp http https all those protocols are supported by this uh, is server it also supports advanced security it also have load balancing a very important uh, feature of is it is also having administrative tools okay for Actually, administrative tools is having some UI uh, base, so it's very handy and easy to use. Now, uh, let me change the color of pane. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about Castle on the base of role and then on the base of feature. So we come to know what are the differences, what are the differences in between these two roles, means role of IS and then role of uh, Castle and then feature. So, Castle is a lightweight cross platform web server for ASP.NET Core and handles core processing type, uh, but typically used for reverse proxy like IS. So, what is the difference? It is fully fledged web server of Microsoft. And here it is lightweight bus cross platform. It means it can be hosted on any platform. One thing. Second one, if we talk about the feature, so it focused on high performance. Okay. It means Castle is more often dedicated for application which require high performance, but somewhere lacks in advanced features. What are the advanced features? Advanced features like multiple protocol supports. Although it support HTTP and HTTPS, but there are a lot of uh, protocols which this Castle server do not support. It doesn't have advanced security. It doesn't have load balancing. It doesn't have administrative tools like IS. So these are the differences based on role and features. Now, if we talk about this uh, Castle, okay, and uh, IS on, let me change the color again. And IS, so this IS is used on Windows Server and it is tight, tightly integrated with Windows OS. Actually, this IS is dedicated for all those applications to which hosting is done based on operating system, Windows operating system. On the other hand, if we want some, you know, like, uh, some if we have some application to which we want to host on different app different platforms like windows linux mac okay so we can go with this castle server castle server offering flexibility for asp.net core application but what happened most of the time most of the time what happened it will it is castle and uh, this uh, as used in conjunction what does it means that as act as a reverse proxy for ASP.NET Core application. As we know, we use Castle server for ASP.NET Core application, but in ASP.NET Core application, when we are hosting it with the help of Castle server, as act as a reverse proxy server. Means it forward the request to Castle. So combining these two features of IS and as well as Castle enhance the performance. So it is recommended actually, it is recommended to use this uh, as, as a reverse proxy to 
get the security load balancing and other features of IS with the and also the advanced and uh, high performance features of Castor. So in this way, these are the differences and what how we can use most out of this by using them in conjunction. I hope you got some insight about uh, the differences of these two. Thanks. Thanks a lot.